you know, going in a pretty uh, big derby. You know, derby's always big, but given the start that you've had, it must feel sort of you know, a big week. Yeah, um, we've all got, always had a great rivalry with them. Um, we're pretty excited, you know, get to play them for the first time this year in a match for points and, yeah, looking forward to it. Do you think there'll be a bit of extra bite to the derby as both teams are trying to reassert themselves? Yeah, we know they'll come out, you know, they're a very hungry team. They come off a win on the weekend, so we'll know that they're going to be ready to go and so are we. We're, we're looking forward to a 4-0 at the minute, but, um, yeah, I think the biggest thing for us is not to get complacent and we've still got that hunger there, so it's good. Can you look back at that clash with them last year in Perth? Is that a real kind of landmark milestone game that that was kind of a turning point for the team? Yeah, we th yeah that was a um, it was a good game. You know, we didn't have the greatest year last year, and for us to get a win over them against a quality side was uh, was good. That was a long that was a long time ago. We've I think we've gotten a lot better since then, so it'll be a different matchup this time. Did you get a look at them at the weekend? They've obviously been under a lot of pressure, but it seems like a pretty good performance to get back on track. Yeah, yeah, for them, um, you know, getting a win against Collingwood obviously isn't an easy task. So. Um, credit to them, they played really well and you know, we're just going to focus on us, I guess, really. The midfield though, that seems to be where they really lifted contested footy was up again. Got some good names still in there. Yeah, that, that definitely can be where it's won. Um, I think they lost a few of their good players, but you know, they've got players that easily fill roles for them. And um, yeah, so do we. We've got some good players out there at the moment. Um, yeah. I think they'll be a good team, but hopefully, you know, we can get the win. Toby, Toby Green's uh, been on pretty ominous form, kicked five again on the weekend. Has yeah. anyone put their hand up yet to line up on him first up? Um, I think, you know, probably most of the defenders will be putting their hand up. Um, we'll have to find out that the coaches made that decision, so, yeah. yeah. George Hewitt, uh, he did a good job on Dusty, who has some similarities. Yeah. Um, would you be pretty confident if he was the one to take? Uh, 100%. Um, yeah, I trust Georgia with my life, so uh, he's, yeah, who you knows, I think could be a few of them that could have the job, so, yeah. We saw um, Isaac out here before, a bit of a, a blow not on his head, how's he done? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, sucks that he can't be out there today, um, but yeah, I think he's going all right, obviously it's, it's a tough thing, you know, breaking your hand, but um, I think the boys are just trying to get around him as much as possible and yeah, it'll be good to have him around the club soon. What have you made of the start? Four zips obviously ideal. Where were you at pre-season as far as what you thought this club could do this year? I think exactly what we've done so far. I don't think there's been any doubt on our form in the pre-season. Um, I've had full confidence in this group since the start and yeah, it's really no surprises to me but obviously it takes a lot of hard work and hopefully, yeah, we can keep going. Because there was a lot of talk about finals, talking to a few of your senior boys. You were really confident. What was it? Like five wins a year ago, and you've come in and you're saying it's not a surprise to be four and zip. I think, um, you know, we've got a lot more players sort of on board. We're sort of more invested, I guess. Um, I don't know. Could be a bit, bit of experience stuff. To be honest, I think we're all just in a really good headspace and looking for and loving our footy. So, yeah. What about the... Uh, so, like, pre-season, it seems like it's a new game style. What was it like when you, you know, John Longmire comes in and throws this new style at you? I mean, is that something that reinvigorated the group or something like that? Yeah, I, th I think um, a lot of the guys sort of took that in their stride. They, no one was like, oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. But, yeah, we're, I don't think we'd have a choice to say that anyway. But, <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of buy-in from the playing group and um, trust in the coaching staff and, yeah, I think that's where, you know, that's where we play our good, best footy. So you feel like you've been let loose a little bit? A little, you could you could say that, but then again, there's a system that comes with it. We're not just you know sort of letting loose. There's obviously some a lot of structure that goes with that sort of stuff. Um, and as I said before, just blokes playing their role, very simple stuff, and yeah, it's showing at the minute. And what about for you individually? Your form's been great to start the year. Is there anything that sort of clicked for you in the off season or anything you did different? Um, I think, you know, I'm, I'm just really loving my footy. I know what I've got to do out there and um, it's, it's very simple stuff for me. Um, nothing, nothing too much has changed. I think I'm just, you know, getting a bit, well, I'm, I'm just loving my footy at the minute and I'm sure that everyone else is at the moment being 4-0 and, 
um, yeah, I think, as I said before, the, the most dangerous thing for us is to be complacent in the minute, and it's good that we're not. We're still hungry to keep going, so yeah. You mentioned a bit earlier, no surprises about the form. What about the young fellas, like the first year and second year players? Is there anything that they've done or the gains that they've made that, yeah. you know, and expectations were high, but just to play at the level they have? Yeah, they're super kids. Um, they're well, super kids, they're, they're young men, and it's uh, really good to see them fit in so nicely. They're great people on and off the field, and um, yeah, we knew that they were going to be able to come in. They're playing for a reason, they're not just giving them games. They're pushing a lot of good players out of this side, so um, they've exceeded our expectations, but also at the same time, we knew they could do it. You're only 22 yourself. Um, yeah. So how, how are these guys that are coming in 18, 19, 20, how much energy are they giving to you and uh, you know, reinvigorating they, your game? Yeah, they, uh, they're giving heaps of energy to me. It's so good seeing, seeing them you know, take big strides in their career at such a young age. Um, and not just myself, I think the whole, the whole squad is seeing that and getting heaps of energy from them. They're, as you've seen on telly, they're, they're super exciting young kids and um, they've slotted in very nicely. What's some of the, the things you've noticed different to, to last year, sort of the atmosphere around the club? Uh, what are these kids doing to the, I guess, the energy and yeah. the intensity, training, all these sorts of things? I think the, just been not being able to play footy last year in front of crowds, like, um, I think everyone's sort of excited to just get back to what it sort of was. Um, footy's fun at the moment. It's it's with the crowds being there and um, travelling and doing all that stuff. I think that's bringing a lot of um, energy back towards towards the game. And um, being in a hub was a great experience for for us. But I think um, you know it's good to be back on the SCG and those younger kids being there as well, playing their first games on that ground a couple of weeks ago brings a lot of energy as well and yeah. You've seen Buddy um, managing his return from injury, he was out there, finished up a, bit, a little bit earlier today, how's he looking ahead of this one on Saturday? Um, yeah, I'm, I think he put up alright, I'm not too sure, I obviously have to let that um, be decided with the physios and the coaches and stuff like that but you know, if, we, if he can be out there this weekend that'll be awesome, if not then we'll play without him.